never thought of where the aluminium comes from that are uh, used in the alloys to make these drinks cans. All the components that make up the majority of an aeroplane. Well, how about the frame of your mountain bike? Well, electrolysis plays a crucial role in aluminium production. Let's have a look at the process. Bauxite is a mineral ore that contains aluminium. South Africa imports most of its bauxite, the vast majority from Australia. A process of electrolysis is then used to extract the aluminium. The bauxite ore is treated with concentrated sodium hydroxide, which produces a purified form of aluminium oxide, known as alumina. The aluminium oxide has got a very high melting point. There are Al3 plus ions and O2 minus ions, both highly charged ions, which form strong ionic bonds, and it requires a great deal of heat energy to melt the substance. To get around this problem, the alumina is dissolved in molten cryolite, and that allows the electrolysis to proceed at a much lower temperature. There's some really serious chemistry going on in those electrolytic cells, but let's have a closer look at some of the simplified reactions taking place. The electrolysis cell consists of a uh, steel cylinder which is lined with carbon and uh, that uh, lined carbon makes up the cathode. The solution um, is a solution of alumina, aluminium oxide, dissolved in cryolite to decrease the uh, melting point and uh, we then insert the uh, giant carbon anodes. Those carbon anodes are connected to the positive end of the electricity supply which makes them positively charged and the carbon cathode is connected to the negative end and that makes the carbon cathode negatively charged. Now the electricity supply runs at a voltage of 6 volts and have a look at that, an incredible 100,000 amperes, an enormous amount of electricity and that uh, High electricity flow results in an operating temperature of around about 1000 degrees Celsius. Let's consider the cathode reactions. The aluminium 3 plus ions are positively charged and those are obviously attracted to the negative cathode and the reaction that takes place then, the Al3 plus ions gain three electrons to form aluminium and I hope you remember, of course, that reduction is gain, so this is a reduction reaction, and reduction reactions take place at the cathode. So as the Al3 plus ions gain three electrons to form aluminium, molten aluminium builds up, and that molten aluminium is tapped off at regular intervals from the cell. Have a look at the half reaction. Do you notice that three electrons are required to react with the Al3 plus ion. So for every one mole of aluminium ions, we've got three moles of electrons. And this is a big factor in the enormous electricity costs that are associated with this process. If we now look at the anode reactions, the O2 minus ion is attracted to the positive anode. And uh, as it's um, attracted towards the anode, it loses two electrons. So O2- minus loses those two electrons to form an oxygen atom. But I hope you know that oxygen never exists as a single atom. It always bonds to another oxygen atom to form diatomic molecules. So we need two O2- minus ions, which will give us our diatomic oxygen, O2. And of course, that leaves us with four electrons being released. You can see the oxygen bubbles bubbling off there at the uh, anode. Um, and uh, that oxygen that reacts, um, sorry, that's produced, is produced very close to a hot carbon uh, anode. And so there's an immediate reaction between the oxygen and the carbon, and uh, that produces carbon dioxide, which is then released from the cell. Let's have a look at the overall reaction. We've got the aluminium 3 plus plus 3 electrons forming aluminium. It's a reduction reaction at the cathode. We've got the oxide ions releasing their electrons to form oxygen. That's the oxidation reaction at the anode. Now have a look at the electrons. We've got three electrons in the aluminium half reaction and four, so we're going to have to equalize those. So we're going to multiply the top reaction through by four, and we'll multiply the bottom reaction through by three. 
can you see that then equalizes the electrons 12 each and so we can cancel those 12 electrons let's now add down we've got 4 Al3 plus 6 O2 minus giving us 4 Al plus 3 O2 what about the environmental risks we're just going to consider three simple ones uh, firstly as I've mentioned there's the huge electricity requirements uh, to run the electrolytic cell Secondly, you would have noticed that carbon dioxide was produced, and um, that's a greenhouse gas uh, and contributes to climate change, and that's an environmental risk. And then finally, there's the impact uh, on the landscape from the original mining of the bauxite ore. So there we have it, another wonderful example of electrolysis being used in an industrial process. Ah, time for a drink. <laughs>